The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. He, that is Jesus, is the image of the unseen God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, everything visible and everything invisible, thrones, ruling forces, sovereignties, powers, all things were created through him and for him. He exists before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, that is the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he should be supreme in every way. Because God wanted all fullness to be found in him, and through him to reconcile all things to him, everything in heaven and everything on earth, by making peace through his death on the cross. And our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 100. Acclaim Yahweh all the earth. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Come into his presence with songs of joy. Be sure that Yahweh is God. He made us. We belong to him. His people, the flock of his sheepfold. Come within his gates giving thanks. To his courts singing praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For Yahweh is good. His faithful love is everlasting his constancy from age to age. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. They then said to Jesus, John's disciples are always fasting and saying prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees too. But yours go on eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Surely you cannot make the bridegroom's attendants fast while the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them. And then in those days, they will fast. He also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to put it on an old cloak. Otherwise, not only will the new one be torn, but the piece taken from the new will not match the old. And nobody puts new wine in old wine skins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and run to waste, and the skins will be ruined. No, new wine must be put in fresh skins. And nobody who has been drinking old wine wants new. The old is good, he says. The Gospel of the Lord.